The UP government has put up uh, hoardings, and you're seeing them on your screens right now in the capital, Lucknow, were naming and shaming uh, some of the so-called accused of uh, violence during protests against the citizenship law in December 2019. Let's go across to Alok Pandey for more on this unusual uh, form, unusual move perhaps, uh, one would say Alok, uh, by the government because aren't these uh, the very uh, same so-called accused that the court had pulled up the government for, the UP government for and the police saying that you don't even have uh, enough evidence against uh, many of these accused when their bail hearings came out. Well, you're absolutely right. In fact, uh, some of those people who featured on those hoardings with their addresses, uh, mind you, are prominent people in Lucknow, like Sadav Jafar, whose case we had covered extensively. She is an activist, she is an actor, and she's also a politician. And then you have Deepak Kabir, another prominent uh, theatre personality here. Mohammed Shoaib, a human rights lawyer who the police says was the mastermind behind the, uh, behind the violence, even though he was under unofficial house arrest when the violence happened. And IP, uh, former IPS officer, Mr. Tara Puri, who again is an activist and somebody who used to be with the police in fairly senior positions. So all of their names are up on these hoardings and other people. Uh, like you said, many of these people are on bail. And when their bail orders were pronounced in many cases, I remember reading that the judges observed that while opposing bail, the lawyers for the government had not failed, had, had failed in fact, I'm sorry, to come up with credible evidence about their involvement in the rights uh, or the accused uh, or the violence, I'm sorry, not the rights, pardon me. Also, the other thing being, Sarah, that this is legal procedure, isn't it? A legal procedure is on. These people have been served with property attachment notices already individually in their individual positions. Many of them have said that they are going to reply to those notices and say that this is unwarranted. In cases in uh, Kanpur, for instance, uh, the Allahabad High Court has stayed such a notice issued to one person there accused in the violence that happened in that city over the amended citizenship law and said that, look, the Supreme Court is already independently hearing a separate set of petitions about the legal tenability of these notices being issued by the government in other cases. So I think it's a complex issue, but one would wonder why you need to do this, why you need to put up holdings like this, given that all of those identified are very much in Lucknow. They have not escaped to anywhere. They are there. Notices have already been served to them. What purpose does it serve apart from a bit of publicity, I guess, for the government and for the chief minister, one wonders. One wonders, uh, Alok, uh, certainly a lot of initiative and drive shown by the UP government when it comes uh, to these uh, so-called uh, accused when it comes to anti-CA protests, uh, the same initiative and drive missing when it comes to other departments, administrative departments of the UP government.